fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Support Mission Box Type Geats and DX Weapon Raise Buckle Set from Kamen Rider Geats. And basically this is just another one of these Support Mission Boxes, this time done in a Geats color scheme with a little Geats emblem on top instead of a question mark or an exclamation mark. Uh, now we've seen other versions on the show, we've seen the Buffa one, we've seen Tycoon. I think we even saw a Nago one, so I wouldn't be surprised if they just keep pumping these out. Very easy repaints for them to do, but time will tell on that. Uh, it also comes with three new raised buckles here based on the weapons from their previous forms. So for Zombie, we have the Zombie Breaker. Uh, for Ninja, we have the Ninja Dueler. And then, of course, for uh, Magnum, we have the Magnum Shooter 40X. And we're getting small raised buckle versions of each of those. Very similar to the little weapon raised buckles that came with the Power Builder raised buckle. And you can see these are going to work with that. That's why Geats is wearing it over here on the left. So that should be pretty fun. Of course, on the top here, it shows them also being used in the Desire Driver with the Boost raised buckle. We'll take a look at that as well. Uh, down here on the bottom, not really much going on. There's no batteries included or necessary because nothing in here has electronics on its own. Uh, over here on the side, again, just showing you the contents of the box, these four items. And then over here, just showing you all of the various things you can store in your new box. Ooh, how exciting. Uh, over here on the back, again, just showing how they work with the Power Builder raise buckle. Uh, again, showing you what you can put in the box. All very exciting. So... Let's go ahead, let's get everything out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so here's everything you get in the box. You have the support mission box type Geats, uh, which I think looks good. I guess I'll, I'll move these off to the side and we'll just take a look at this real quick because there's really not much to go over here. It's just another one of these boxes, but now it's in the Geats color scheme. I think it looks really sharp. I love the Geats symbol up here. I think the color scheme looks good. Got the DGP symbol there. Slides open just like any of the others. You know, you can put these things on here just like the other boxes. You can slide these onto the side or click one here in the center. I said you can click one here in the center. Oh, here we go. I got to turn it around. I had it backwards. Or you can put like one of the larger buckles in here. I think like this. So you can click that in there if you like. Or you can put the driver in here and it clips on to these little spots right here. These go where the uh, straps would normally go. So you can click that in there. So it's one of the boxes. You've seen this before. It's not really functionally any different. It's just aesthetically different. But I do really like the aesthetics of it. But that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side because there's not much to review there. Let's take a look at these. So we have the Ninja Dueler, the Zombie Breaker, and the Magnum Shooter 40X. And something I want to show off about these... I mean, they look nice. I think the Ninja Dueler could use maybe a little bit more detail in this area, but I really do like the metallic green here. Uh, otherwise, it is gray. You have the... QR code here, but what I really want to show off, if you look at the rail section here, it is exactly the same as Ninja. So the, you know, little rail patterning here, it even has the same number, 64. So if I put this in the Desire Driver by itself, it's just going to think it's Ninja. Uh, this is how you slide it to activate it. That makes the button underneath pop out um but yeah so it's kind of weird the directions that come with this well that's not true they don't come with this anymore but the ones you have on the back of the box you scan the qr code just show you attaching these three to the desire driver with boost and getting the sounds for magnum and zombie and ninja which we've seen before. That's nothing new. And that's all it shows in the directions for this. Which is really bizarre. Because the most exciting part of this. Is using these with the powered builder raise buckle. Which of course we'll take a look at. But the directions don't show anything about that. So that's very strange. It does show it on the back of the box. But not in the official directions when you scan the QR code. So I just thought that was interesting and worth mentioning. But uh, so Ninja Dueler. Okay. I feel like the gray is a little plain. But here is the Zombie Breaker. Kind of a similar thing. This is mostly purple. You have a little bit of silver paint here. It seems like each one just has like a little bit of an accent color for the paint scheme. Otherwise, it's mostly 
two-tone, this one being purple and black, this one being black and gray, and this one being black and white. But this looks pretty cool. Here is the QR code on the back. This is 63, and just to once again illustrate my point, it is the exact same rail pattern as Zombie, and they are both 63. And then you turn this, you can turn it this way, you can turn it this way, <laughs> whatever you like. That's how you activate that. And then last up, we have the Magnum Shooter 40X, which I think looks really sharp. The metallic red there is very nice. Here is the QR code, and then here is Magnum, and they are both 62. And again, the rail patterning there is exactly the same. And then this one you just pull forward. It's kind of like you're pulling this part back, but you can't actually do that. So you're, this stays and the rest of the gun is cocking. It's kind of funny. Uh, but in any case, that's the three of these. I think they look great. I really like them a lot. Um, just to show it off, I guess I'll do Magnum Shooter in the Desire Driver with Boost. Um, because that's the classic combo. But I'm not going to do all three of them just because we've, we've heard all that before. It's nothing new. You're just going to get the sounds for Ninja and Zombie and Magnum. Uh, so I'll show off just Magnum just to show how that goes, but then I want to show it with the powered uh, builder buckle. So now we'll attach the powered builder. So now if we go ahead and pop in the Magnum Shooter 40X. So it actually says Gigant Shooter, which I think is pretty cool since this is the Magnum Shooter. Next up, we'll try the Ninja Dueler. So that one says Gigant Dueler. And then last up... We have the Zombie Breaker. So I think that's kind of cool. It actually can read them. It calls it basically Gigant plus whatever the second half of the weapon name is. So Shooter, Dueler, Breaker. I think that's really cool. Also just wanted to point out that, you know, activating this when it's inside here does nothing. But I just think that's so cool. Yes, the Desire Driver on its own just thinks it's whatever the form is that uses this weapon. But when you use it with the Powered Builder raise Buckle, it actually knows which one you're using. And I think that's really cool. So we already know that the Magnum Shooter 40X is going to read them just as the Desire Driver would. So it's just going to think they're Magnum or Ninja or Zombie. But this was so meta, I just had to do it. I think this is a really cool set. I like the support mission box Geats type 
or type Geats. I gotta be honest, I keep wanting to call it Geats style. I just think that sounds a lot better. Uh, but in any case, I really like the box. I think the color scheme's great. I like the Geats emblem on the top. Fully expect to see releases for Tycoon and Nago and uh, Buffa, and I'll probably buy all of them, honestly. They look sharp, and they're kind of convenient for storing all your different raised buckles, so I love them. But the main draw here, of course, is our three new raised buckles for the Magnum Shooter 40X, the Ninja Dueler, and the Zombie Breaker. They look great. I'm really happy that they released these. Uh, they don't do really anything by themselves in the Desire Driver because they're just read as Magnum, Ninja, and Zombie, respectively. But they do have added functionality with the Powered Builder uh, raised buckle, so if you have that one... I think this set is definitely worth picking up because it does read them as Gigant Shooter, Gigant Dueler, and Gigant Breaker, which is actually really cool. Um, I just think this is a fun set, but like I said, I feel like you're going to get the most use out of this set if you have the Power Builder Raise Buckle. If you don't have that, you might not care about this as much. Now, there is going to be uh, one for the Beat Axe, which I'm assuming the Desire Driver will just read as Beat but we'll probably have some kind of functionality in the Powered Builder. We'll have to wait and see. That one is exclusive to the next wave of Candy Toy Buckles. So that one is not... It's kind of funny. These two are going to be in that Candy Toy set, but this is exclusive to this set. And then the Beat one is exclusive to that Candy Toy set. So you kind of have to get everything if you want to have all of them, because that's how they like to get you. But I think these are fun. I definitely recommend picking this up, especially because it's just a retail release. Um, it's kind of weird that you would definitely kind of expect something like this to be Premium Bandai, but I'm so happy that it's not. Uh, I got mine from Amazon Japan. I would check there. I think HLJ had them for a minute. Uh, they were kind of going in and out of stock. You could check there as well. So they should be around. Shouldn't be too terribly difficult to locate because they were just retail, which is actually really nice. So I think this is a fun set. You get a nice box for storage. It looks sharp. You get three new raised buckles. I think it's a win-win. So definitely check this one out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.